obviously there's a lot more detail uh, than that. It's just a And then I can make copies so you guys can have them, and we'll have them, and we'll move forward. So this is a receipt? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, a receipt, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's the word you do. It's, it's a, it's well, that's what it, it says, complaint. Yeah, it says it, it's going to be, you know, receipt of that you had a copy of it. I guess we, this is just, oh, I forgot the date here, hold on, the 16th. Um, yeah, it's just ultimately it's just a way to acknowledge that we received your complaint, that you you know you have a record that you've made a complaint. Um, and these are and ours. I, these are ours. Um, I will give you a copy of it. Yes, okay. I just wanted. And I just didn't want to in case I wanted. Those are the names. The those are the four officers involved uh, on the street. Obviously, Lieutenant Mucci is the individual, and the, I, I separated them because they're kind of two separate incidents. Yep, yep. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's that's okay. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, and. Yeah, so. And I know there's a lot going on with your complaint, but it's just a way to just kind of give a general mm -hmm. gist of it. This uh, is just a basic summary. Right. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that there wasn't anything contrary to uh, no, what you... Good. Okay. You, does that work for you? All right. Let me just make a quick copy of those. And then we're almost Need done. So it's getting to be lunch time. Here's a bite. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll grab that. I heard something different. So, Ethan is yours, for your records. And Ethan is yours for your records. And then I have the same things right here that we'll file. Yeah, so, like I said, um, you know, this is typically how we like to do it. Sometimes it's not practical that we get this. Somebody calls on the phone. Um, sometimes with the oath and affirmation. But um, Just so since you guys came in in, per in person, we're able to kind of. And none of this. I mean, some people don't like to fill out the paperwork, so it's not something that people are necessarily obligated to do. But um, it's it's basically the way we like to do it, if at all practical. So. Yeah. Um, so you said you had something else to go over. There's a huge concern. Yeah. Um, we already been in contact with the New Hampshire Attorney General's office. Um, I'm going to be hearing back from them again. Do you remember who your point of contact with them was? Um, oh, jeez, what the heck is his name? God. And my phone died, so I have to plug it in, so I can't see the email either. Mm -hmm. um, it's their police investigator. They used to be Paul Broder. It's okay. the, the guy that's in his spot. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't think they... of his He's new. Yeah. He's only been there uh, a little under six months. Okay. Um, and um, he's, he's under the impression a memo went out uh, a year ago um, that um, I'm not sure to all the police departments um, throughout the state yeah. um, about the right to record and that can't be interfered with at all. Um, right. And multiple cases after the fact, mm -hmm. um, especially when it comes to press. I don't see Manchester going up to WMUR and taking their video camera because they ended up capturing something that they need for evidence. Yeah. There's no discretion whatsoever that allows a police officer to take a recording device for evidence purposes without a subpoena or a warrant. Mm -hmm. That's their personal property. They can't just, oh, I'm taking that camera. Okay. Lieutenant Mucci. Lieutenant Vincent, mm -hmm. Sergeant Brennan, mm -hmm. they're all under the impression they're allowed to do this. Two videos from uh, Manchester PD, they're all under the impression that they can do this. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming out of my house and someone's getting arrested in, my, in, in the street and I'm on my porch and I'm video recording this arrest and a cop comes up to me and says, I'm taking that for evidence purposes. I'm not letting you take my, well, I'm going to arrest you for obstruction if you don't give that to me, mm -hmm. which has happened. This is why we started coming to Mass to begin with. Okay. Um, and that phone was taken. Whatever the reason is, I don't think it's the reason for the arrest itself. My impression is it's being given to the detectives to take all the contacts, information, and stuff like that without a warrant just so they can have the info, put it in their CAD or computer data dispatch mm -hmm. so they can run names and know what's going on in a particular neighborhood. I know how this works. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not naive. Um, and our four officers, the four officers or the trailblazer mm -hmm. with that license plate, um, got 
was seen in that neighborhood the past few days. Mm -hmm. um, in what neighborhood? Um, Cedar Street area. Okay. Maybe maybe Cedar Street. Yeah. Yeah, Cedar Street area. Oh, I, I didn't realize you was talking about. This. All right, continue. That undercover cut the trailblazer, okay. the famous trailblazer. Yeah. Um, famous. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got like over a thousand views now, doesn't it? Over that? Yeah. <laughs> Just in two weeks. Um. And anyways. I have a huge problem with this, and, and something that Lieutenant Mucci said. Mm -hmm. He says, if you interfere with us, we will arrest you. I understand that you can't interfere with a detainment, but mm -hmm. this, was a, this was an underlining threat, meaning we're going to watch you. Or yeah. I, There was a hidden agenda behind his voice. At least that's how I'm taking it and mm -hmm. how I interpreted it, because the conversation didn't warrant him saying that. It didn't have nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. He just threw that out there while he was kicking us out of the lobby of the police department. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I hope and pray that that the Manchester Police Department's not sitting on the fact that they can just take people's recording devices. Mm -hmm. um, this this Andrea Wells lady wants me to prepare a, a whole markup and lawsuit against the, key, the against Manchester Police Department for taking her phone. Okay. I know it's been returned, mm -hmm. but she had to sign a consent form to get it back. Um, it was taken illegally the first, they should have just gave it to her, mm -hmm. without any signing a form or anything like that, because they said if she didn't sign for it, she's not going to get it back. It was illegal obta illegally obtained to begin with. She's afraid to death to come in here to complain mm -hmm. um, after the last two interactions she had. Um, and I know she's been in here a few times before, and I, look, I looked at, I, I pulled her record, and there's nothing really in, in her record much, you know, a couple of, Yeah, I mean, I, know, if she has a complaint, I certainly so. encourage her to come in and make a complaint. But, you know, besides her... Whether or not... Be, besides her... her validated, I guess, remains to be seen. But. Yeah, but it's already proven by voice to yeah. me yeah. that the Manchester Police Department's under the impression they can just take people's recording yeah. devices. And Mucci said that they, you know, they, they have the discretion to take a mine if I end up seeing something illegal. I'm uh -huh. like, no, you can't. Yeah. Um, this was been... The, Dennis Hogan said that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Usually a subpoena will go out. Um, Gene Killam, the, the county attorney for uh, Cheshire County, mm -hmm. said that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Even the attorney general's office said that's not how it works. Uh, you have to get a warrant specifically for that for that person. It's their property. It would be a violation in the Fourth Amendment just to take someone's property like that just because a cop thinks they can. Right. That's a huge, huge issue for me. Yeah. That that would be like priority number one. Um, what if I, what if I video record a cop? Getting plummeled by three guys. Not that I would just sit there and watch. Yeah. Um, because I've been proof to actually intervene in, mm -hmm. in a couple of situations, especially during the Keen riots. Yeah. Um, which that's probably why Keen police have a lot of respect because that was a bad night for everybody. It sounded like it. Um, yeah, it was a bad <laughs> from, uh, night. From our perspective over here on the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was there. Yeah, yeah, I was there for nine hours. Yeah. So I was there from beginning to end. Um. If I'm here in Manchester, I'm at the club off of Main Street, and you know, cops are involved in a, an arrest, and the guy's resisting, and starts punching officers, and all of a sudden, a cop turns to me and be like, "I need that because that's evidence now." Mm -hmm. They can't make that decision. That's a state and a county attorney decision. Well, would you agree it's evidence of a crime? It could be. Yeah. But they can, It's not up to the and, police and officer are, to determine are, that. Um, you know, rules and laws in place about how how to search, how to seize evidence and how to get evidence. But it's not, evidence. yeah, it's not up to the and police agency, agency, exigency circumstances where, um, you know, a warrant may not be practical because of the exigency. Um, now, once to, what, that's not to say that once the phone is seized and it's preserved and it's so then we're like, okay, nothing can happen to this video. If All right now, want, yeah. uh, if I want to look at that video, I need a warrant to look at. Well, it. I under, would agree with you there. Yeah, un, under Glick, yeah. Uh, that, that conversation was brought up mm -hmm. in, in the final in the final stages of the decision. Mm -hmm. The reason for recording and the reason why it's a fundamental right is to get an objective view. Mm -hmm. Soon as the police, that's one side of the party. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're the complainant. 
you're complaining against this person accusing them of something yeah by law okay mm -hmm. the state is complaining that they did this mm -hmm. there's no longer an objective view when you take someone to, this is what the attorney general's office was saying it, it's now a void at that point there's mm -hmm. no objective view because now only one side of the complaint has the objective view it can be deleted it can be uh it can oh, be, i see that's where you're okay you see, it, see it can be a liability I, like it, our perspective is, is that we're preserving it intact the way it is your perspective is that we're taking it and and altering even it. in court even if it ends up in yeah, front of the justice I mean, not, I mean that's that's serious stuff that we're all, I mean, we would alter evidence? What are, you know, like, that's the, that goes back to the whole Furman thing. This is how Jesus. easy it is. <laughs> this is how easy it is. Yeah. You get some, let's say an officer hits him, yeah. breaks his nose in the process, right. okay? He pops this out, mm -hmm. oh, it's lost. Yeah. Here's your camera back. Yeah. No objective view. Yeah. You, you, the police cannot be put in a position yeah. where there's a liability even against them. And this is the, the thing with the attorney general. So I'm meeting with them, so I mean, we're no, going to talk about that. I mean, that, that would then you're saying that it goes on to, um, uh, like, I don't know, like any search that we do. I mean, theoretically, if we, if we, have, uh, we, we have a search warrant to search a house because this is drug activity. Yeah, but that doesn't stop. And we go stop. in and search the house that to seize the drugs. Yeah, but that doesn't which, stop. Which, you know, you're saying that, I mean, we get, you know, we can plant evidence. We can. I mean, I, I get that. You're, you're I get thinking, the theory. You're, yeah, you're thinking. You, you're <laughs> thinking in the act of something. Yeah. This is someone's right to record. You're yeah. stopping their right to record. Yeah, and we're, but, and we're not. St oh, stopping the right to record. I see what you're saying. You're saying that at some point in time, because I have to take that camera's evidence, you're you stopping are no longer the recording. Able. Yeah, that's a liability. And that's that, just, I, I, and, I, and I that's a big theory. <laughs> and the guy that I talked to for yeah. like an hour and a half, I right. have it written down somewhere. Yeah. Um, and I'm meeting with them, so I'll get those footnotes. Well, and too. then obviously, I, you know, I, I guess we have the information you're getting from the AG's office and the county attorneys. Well, Dennis Hogan, your own county yeah. attorney, said that's not I mean, how, it, how it works. We, we certainly would. I'd be curious what they're telling you uh, to make sure that our practice is following what they're telling you. Um, well, the, or or if we disagree with what they're telling you. You're the only police yeah. department in New Hampshire that actually is under under that assumption that you mm -hmm. can just take recording devices. Well, from I, I don't know if it's an assumption. I think there's 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 laws that would back up that action. There isn't. Yeah. There so really isn't. I mean, I I know. I, I guess we're you know I, I see where you're coming from. Um, in terms of uh, the fact that if you had the the AG's point of contact, like you're telling me that the AG has told you. That what we're doing is wrong. The, the process, like, like that's to, not how the process, he goes, in order to take a civilian's property from right. video recording, mm -hmm. number, number one, you're stopping their right to record, you're taking their that, property. That's, that's an angle that I didn't and, necessarily and think of. There's but also I, I other liability, and he mentioned you know, things I didn't think of. He goes, out, one, of this, one, the one of this, one of evidence value outweighs that, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know? one, one of this stuff on that, on that, on that phone, yeah. uh, or correlation, one of she's talking to an attorney, or does she go back and forth with her doctors? Yeah. So now there's a liability. Well, the search is going to be narrow to the particular, we're not, if you were recording something, and you had a video of an encounter on your phone, of a crime, what I, what I believe to be, Evidence of a crime, and I and I took your phone. Like mm -hmm. if you didn't willingly provide it to me, I said I would be, you know, I would seize it to, as out of agency. Because if I do, if I let you walk away with that phone, particularly you can potentially delete it and it's gone. So for, for me to preserve it, I seize it. I get either your permission or a search warrant to narrowly search the phone just for that video. I can't go into your contacts. I can't do that's the, it, it has nothing to do with the. You the, can though. Yeah. Well, it's, I, it's I mean, not it's just like it's just like I can go into a drug house and take stuff out of a drug house. Just because I can doesn't mean I do. It's not legal for me to do that. No, it, it's <laughs> putting you in a position where where someone's civil rights can yeah. can be violated. Do you want to do you want to put? the officers of Manchester PD in a position where they, they could be like a gigantic massive suit because the whole thing well, would I'm, click. I trusted them to follow the law. The, the to, whole thing to, would click. To get a search warrant, to, to, to get that video, nothing else, you know, whatever other uh, social web pages, whatever. But these, these officers are making this decision right there on the street. They're, they're making, the decision they're making is preserving the evidence. Preserving. And, 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 and it, it goes into airplane mode. It goes into evidence, and it's not, it's not touched until a search warrant by a judge gives us a narrow scope of search that allows the officer to retrieve. You already sees that. You already mm -hmm. sees the equipment at that point. It's now. I mean, the the. And, and the I know what you're saying. That at that point, like, if but that's the only like, video camera you have. But under Glick, it's it specifically mm -hmm. says 
no officer, no officer can use any law or authority to stop video recording in any aspect. Mm -hmm. None. It's a fundamental right. So basically, yeah. it's it's. So you're saying that I I I, I get what you. It's, I'll be honest. I didn't think of that angle. Is it, yeah. I see where you're coming from with it. I'm not sure if I agree with you, but that being said, um, it's certainly something I don't mind so discussing with the AG's office. Yeah, it's um, it's because it's an interesting balance. Well, um, but well, an interesting balance. But it, now it puts it, if they're allowed to do that, it puts the idea in maybe a bad cop's head. Yeah. Oh, the only way I can stop this recording is to say it's evidence. Yeah, but I, I think in fairness, JP, you certainly have been at, at calls and you, you, you're out there a lot and you're following us. Not you, in you, Manchester. Well, I I've mean, yeah, this three, thing, I think. Uh, at least, if not, maybe not you, but other folks who do the same thing where they videotape police action. Oh, come on, free state yeah. antagonized. This so, all no, but what I'm saying is it's happening a lot and we're not seizing that people's. There's, there's narrow circumstances where phones are seized because we believe it contains evidence. But there are plenty of, I mean, the, the instances that where phones are not seized certainly outweighs the ones that are. I, I would say that I, I would say that a video phone or somebody like somebody who's doing what you're doing, just videotape, going, uh, oh, a car stop, hmm, interesting, videotaping. Very rarely is that type of uh, phone seized. It's there's there's narrow circumstances where. It believes we believe that it captures a crime, or at least will have some sort of evidence of a crime. Yes, in those circumstances, we will take it because it's evidence of a crime. Not without and a subpoena. It, warrant. And I think it's kind of better. Well, once again, the warrant happens after the, the phone is seized, and then the warrant it the is. Fourth Amendment is clearly defined, yeah. Captain. Yeah, Come on. I know, but Come I mean, on. It, but, I, I mean, mean, if you if this, you get exceptions, if I if I captured seizure, if I captured something, exigency. if I captured something on my on my on my camera. And then you called me mm -hmm. and said, "Can you email me that video?" Yeah, I'd do it. And I, I agree with you that um, that's definitely an option that we should consider. Um, the problem being, like, and I asked you guys during this interview, "Hey, the phone, the, the video I see on the uh, on the um, on the YouTube is that I'm intact?" Until, yeah. And in you know, I take it at face value. That's true. But sometimes in a criminal case, you, you know, that's where the defense is going to say, "Well, what happened?" You know. JP had this video that you got from him a week later, but what could have happened to that video in the meantime? That's you know, that, and that's the type of thing that we have to be prepared to. Argue. But defense, a defense can is, is yeah. similarly say that about the police too. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no. One, one if it was a false arrest, one if he planted something. Well, it, you can't tell now because mm -hmm. the cops had that camera for two weeks. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I, you know. I, 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 I know what you're saying. I mean, I, and I understand you that you have... You go back and forth. Uh, exactly. I know, and that's what we're going to be doing, I guess, for this discussion. <laughs> 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 um, but, you know, I mean, if, if you're getting certain information from the AG's office that is contrary to what's, what you perceive as is putting in practice, I, I, more, I definitely want to balance that. Yeah, I, it was I mean, more if you're getting told something from the AG's office that's different from what I'm telling you, um, I, I want to reconcile that. Well, I want to know where their stance is on Glick. Yeah. That's why I call. Yeah. I'm not yeah, asking as, as, a, as a law student, you certainly understand that laws evolve. And, yeah. and, and this precedent set and this different yeah. case law. Well, it's a that, huge, it's a gigantic, that, you know? it's a gigantic liability yeah. on, on the Manchester PD yeah. just to do that. Because yeah. the situation where that phone was seized was yeah. just a, a small possession charge, not, barely a misdemeanor. Yeah. Um, which I don't think you know, cops should be like, I want that phone. Yeah. Well, I would suspect phone. maybe that... Uh, it's someone's personal property. You know, and that's, you know, and that's, that, the ball's in Andrea's court on that one. If she wants to complain about the phone getting seized. Hey, New Hampshire, you know? New, New, in New Hampshire uh, law, the, uh, law. That, the individual that was arrested that night, uh, presumably his defense attorney potentially will um, address Angel that Angel issue. Ramos. Um, you know what I mean? I don't, well, because well, I mean, I was because that's going to be evidence in his yeah, case. New Hampshire, New Hampshire, New Hampshire civil procedure and the uh, Constitution backs up. Anybody can advocate for anybody mm -hmm. in any public setting. Mm -hmm. So she asked us to advocate for her. So we're the complaining party. Yeah. Uh, in in and, this and state, in the this civil state process, you yeah. set that legal notice. I mean, and that's you certainly. Well, this that was for us. Can certainly. Um, that was for us yeah, because. I put that in there because we videotape and I'm just putting the police on notice that you're not taking my camera. Yeah. Um, and it'll be a gigantic, I mean, if the county attorney's office like Dennis Hogan wants to request any videos, I, I, I won't mind. Yeah. Um, giving it to him. 
and send it over. It's just a matter of just two buttons. Yeah, and I, I mean, it's somewhat accurate anyways because you pretty much put it all up on a YouTube thing. Yeah, we don't. I so. if I can figure out how to edit, mm -hmm. it would probably take me eight hours, which I don't have. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not a technical person. Me so neither. I get. Can it be changed? He's can my be, techie. Can it be changed? Can it be altered? Can it be edited? I, you know, I, I'm sure I can. Somebody can do you it. You need a lot of work. Um, it, but, it takes a lot of work. Um, but you know, you can't really change the faces and what's going on in the video, right. even if there are cuts. Yeah. And, and video is a big thing, though. I get it. You know, I mean, it, and it, it can be. It, it does. It proves <clears> invaluable in many cases. But I, you know, I don't think you can say it's the complete picture because it's not the complete picture all the time. You know what I mean? It, it certainly is a good picture. There's no oh, question. Oh, you teach you a lot. When you go question. through your criminal justice yeah. part of it, yeah. you can take five statements from someone at a traffic right. stop and yeah. you oh, get five I, I different actually, versions. I actually yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, it's you know, a matter it's of human perception. Nature. Exactly, perception. How long How long have you been uh, employed here, if you don't mind me asking? 27 years. Jesus. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> last year. Yeah. Well, you still look good for being Thank in you. a situation like this. We both look younger than we are, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so we'll get back to you. We'll let you know um, whether it's me or somebody else is assigned. That this you can this, email me. This yeah. person will reach out to you to let you know that they're the assigned ind individual. Um, you know. Like you talking about, you know, basically you only asked Battistelli, he, he did give you his name, it was a little delayed, I get that, but he did give you his name, so, um, yeah, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll so his name is Pat, 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 Bat, 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 did I spell it right? I didn't spell it. Bat, 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 Get back to you. Yeah. Tell them to leave Cedar Street alone. They're being watched. Cedar Street? Oh, they have it. They're driving out. Is there anything? Uh, the there's various activity going on there? <laughs> Usually it's me thinking that would be <laughs> yeah, I know. We're both suspicious of each other. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the way the world works. What are you guys doing? Here. Did you see the video uh, of me going up to the Man Manchester Police Officer parked in a parking lot? Did you no. see that one? No. I was asking if you had any drugs in the car, if any weapons in the vehicle. <laughs> well, that well, could so be you worried should, about. You should take the test. You should get out of here. Investigative mind. Fly through it. <laughs> Where'd you go to law school? What's that? Where'd you go to law school? Uh, the uh, Navy War College in Newport. Yeah. Oh. Newport, Rhode Island. It's beautiful down there. Yeah, I hate Newport. I'm not a drinker. It's like every a bar every five feet. The Black Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago, but it was in, fun. In nachos. <laughs> they, they, they came us for their nachos. Really? Yeah. All right. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, we're going.